Hey guys, what's up? Devin here, coming to you from the Black Forest in Germany today. And I want to talk about how you can drastically alter the course of your life for the better today. And we're going to do this with something called pattern interrupts. So what is a pattern interrupt? Well, imagine that every single day you go for a walk in the woods and you take exactly the same path. And one day you decide to switch it up and you take a detour off your regular path. So you take a different route on one day. What are you going to experience on that day? Well, the first thing is the state of engagement. You're going to be off of autopilot and your mind is going to be engaged with the present moment. Now, I don't mean this in a mindfulness sense. You're not going to be deliberately focusing your mind on the here and now, but rather you're going to be in a situation that's unfamiliar to you. You're going to be doing something different. And so your mind is going to be forced to focus on the present moment. Your thoughts are not going to be in the past or in the future, but rather open to the stimulus of your environment so that you don't get killed and so that you can spot you know, things that can help your survival, etc. Um, so you're going to be engaged in off of autopilot. That's the first point. The second point is that you're going to get some perspective on your regular habitual path. So you might climb a hill on this new path and you might see where your old path starts and ends and you might find, you might see ways that you can take detours. Get bit by mosquitoes here. Um, and you might see obstacles that you can sort of go around and so forth. And in general, you'll get a better idea of where your habitual path lies in the context of your larger environment. And the third point is that you're going to um, come across paths that you've never, you know, that you never knew existed, that you never knew were options for you. And, you know, you're also going to encounter people who you've never crossed paths with, you know, that are walking these other paths. So you're going to experience a lot of new things. You're going to broaden your horizon. You're going to get perspective. And chances are, the following day, you're probably not going to take your regular habitual path again. You're probably going to take some, you know, at least part of this, this detour that you took on this um, day where you're doing this pattern interrupt. And that's exactly what a pattern interrupt is. It's when you do something that goes against your routine, um, that basically immerses you in a different environment or in a different activity that gives you perspective, that um, puts, you know, broadens your horizons and can help you even change your behavior. And this is really important because uh, we're largely run by our routines and our habits, as you probably know. So what we did yesterday, we're probably doing today, and we're probably going to do tomorrow as well. So it's really useful to make these pattern interrupts part of our uh, regular routines as well, so that we can uh, systematically broaden our horizons, get perspective, and also change our own behaviors if that's what we want to do. You know, whether that's dropping old behaviors that we don't like, or starting new behaviors and new habits. So that's basically what a uh, pattern interrupt is. Um, and if you look at your own life, um, I'm sure you can relate to this. You know, if you look at those things that you're most proud of and the best things you've accomplished, you'll probably find that at some level they were caused because uh, change was forced upon you or maybe you forced change upon yourself at some point in the past. And that's exactly what a pattern interrupt is, is when you force that change upon yourself um, to create that space where you can experience new things and get perspective, etc. So how do we start incorporating these pattern interrupts into our lives in a systematic way? Um, well, first let's look at the um, characteristics of a good pattern interrupt. And the first one is that it should be somewhat challenging. So if you're trying to break out of your routine and it's not, it, it feels easy to you, it doesn't feel like a challenge, you're probably not venturing too far outside of your regular routine. So it should be a little bit scary, um, you know, and that's just, just that, that would be a good indication that you're pushing yourself far enough out of your comfort zone. And the second point is that it should be a pretty immersive activity. So, you know, if your um, pattern interrupt is to take a cold shower, you shouldn't just turn it on for one second, but you should really just take a full cold shower and really have that completely different experience. Or if your pattern interrupt is meditation, for example, you shouldn't just do it for one day, but you should rather immerse yourself in it over a period of 30 days, say. Um, also, um, this, is this is pretty critical, it should be fun and game-like. Make it exciting. Don't make it some masochistic you know, chore that you have to do. Um, although that can be fun in and of itself, just make sure it's something that you find somewhat appealing in some way. Uh, so make it fun, make it game-like, make it something to be excited about. And another point is that it should be spontaneous. So you should be able to act on this immediately once you decide to do it so that you don't lose enthusiasm and just like peter out on the idea. All right, so what are some good examples of pattern interrupts? Obviously, this is very individual. It depends what you've got going on in your life already. Uh, you know what your routine already is and what kind of a person you are. But I have a few ideas that might inspire you. Um, and one of them, my favorite, is travel. You know, go someplace new. Buy an airline ticket for some, you know, for a country where you don't even speak the language. Uh, it'll be okay. It might sound kind of scary if you don't travel, but you'll be fine.
just make sure there's no war and that you can actually get a visa when you land and it'll be cool. Um, that said, it doesn't have to be another country. It can be the next state over. It can even be the next town over if you've never, if you've never really been there. And that said, if you already travel a lot, this might not really be a pattern interrupt for you. So, you know, if you do travel all the time, then staying in one place for a while might be a pattern interrupt. Or even going to a place where you wouldn't normally um, find so appealing. So maybe there's a town, you know, 100 miles away where you just have no desire to go there. Well, actually going to that place might be your interrupt. Um, another example, oh, I love this one too, just see if you can walk a really long distance. It might sound kind of silly, but actually just challenging yourself to walk for 30 miles in one go um, can be a great one. You know, you'll see a bunch of different things, you'll push yourself, um, you'll expand your conception of what's possible for you, um, and this should be challenging for you. You know, 30 miles might be too much, but if you're reasonably fit, it should be doable, um, and even more than that could be doable as well. So challenge yourself, just see if you can go for a really long walk. Another one, uh, meditation. This is obviously a great one. This is how I got into meditation in the first place. I challenged myself to immerse myself uh, in meditation for 30 days straight, you know, 15 minutes a day. And um, that's how I got into it uh, in the first place, basically. Had it not been for that, I would have, you know, probably never stuck with it because only after two weeks had I really experienced the benefits of meditation. <laughs> Excuse me. But um, mosquitoes all over the place here. <laughs> But yeah, meditation is a great one. And obviously, if you're already meditating, as you probably are if you're subscribed to this channel, then meditation is not going to be the best pattern interrupt, at least not a 30-day challenge like that. So you might instead book a meditation retreat, go on a Vipassana retreat, or do a solo retreat somewhere in nature, um, and make that your interrupt. I've also done that as well, and that's actually how I discovered continual breath awareness, is by doing a solo retreat, which was very much a pattern interrupt for me at the time. Um, another example fast. You know, don't eat your next meal. Go a whole day without eating, perhaps. Um, Ramadan's coming up. You might go the whole month of Ramadan fasting. Um, just try it out. See what happens. Uh, or experiment with intermittent fasting, uh, which I highly recommend in particular. I'll be doing more videos on that subject because, well, at least for me, it gives me a lot of mental energy and has been one of the main things that's helped me with my meditation practice and mental energy in particular. So fasting is a great one. Um, reading. <laughs> if you don't read, pick up a book. If you do read, find a subject that you've never really read about, maybe, I don't know, interior design, and pick the best book in that subject and read it, and just expose yourself to that new set of ideas. Um, there's, a ton, there's a ton of examples here, obviously. Another one of my favorites is turn off the water heater. You don't really need cold, or you don't really need warm water. You know, if it's not freezing, you probably don't need it. Um, I haven't taken a warm shower in over six months. You really, you know, at first it can get, it can be kind of hard to get used to, but after a while you definitely will. Um, related to that, it's just going for cold water swims, a great way to kind of mix things up and put your body in a different state where you're forced to be engaged. And that's really one of the main points, uh, once again, for pattern interrupts. And another simple example, watch a different YouTube channel. You know, expose yourself to different ideas, um, different people. So on a really small scale, that's almost too small of a scale really, but try to expose yourself to different ideas and immerse yourself in them. Um, that could be a good interrupt. So those are some ideas for you. Um, just a non-example would be going to the gym and, go, and doing a different lift, for, for instance. So that's not really pushing yourself. Um, it's not really too immersive. A better example would be instead of going to the gym, go to yoga or go rock climbing or go for a run or something like that if you don't do those uh, things habitually. Um, yeah, and as I said, that's how I got into meditation. And I can also say that I really can't overemphasize how important these pattern interrupts are and just broadening the um, sort of bringing depth to your life, bring, uh, showing you different things and potentially changing the course of your life for the better um, in very unpredictable but good ways. <laughs> and not everything you try is gonna result in you know, such a traumatic change in your life, but the more you do these mini experiments, the more you're gonna find things that do stick and that do change the course of your life for the better. So I really encourage you to try this out. Um, last thing I want to mention is that, two more things actually. Uh, here's an exercise for you. <laughs> and that is to think up your own pattern interrupt um, that you want to actually instill in your life that you're going to actually do and take, on, take action on it immediately. And the first step is to just write down here in the comments what it's going to be to kind of cement your intent to do this pattern interrupt. By doing that, you'll also help inspire others and maybe give me some more ideas of what I can do in my own life. And um, 
comments. And yeah, and even if you don't write it in the comments, just mentally note it down, so, you know, write it down or mentally note it down and actually try to follow through with this and put it into practice. You can watch all the YouTube videos you want, but unless you actually take action and do something that's gonna push your comfort zone, your life is not really gonna be any different. So I really encourage you to actually do this. Um, the final thing I wanna mention is that the more you bring presence into your life generally, so the more you meditate, the more you're mindful during your day-to-day -day actions, and the more you do continual breath awareness, which is one of the subjects of this channel, uh, the easier it's gonna to be to automatically do pattern interrupts throughout your day. This is because the more you meditate or do these other you know, mindful activities, the greater is gonna be the gap between anything that happens to you and your reaction to that stimulus. For example, um, you know, if someone insults you, you know, someone does something that would normally draw out a conditioned response from you, and you've been meditating a lot, you're gonna have a gap there where you don't actually, where you can actually choose whether you wanna respond in your normal way by maybe lashing out at them, or to, you, know, you could decide to not respond at all to them, or you know, do whatever you want, whatever your kind of higher self um, <laughs> um, would want to do, rather than just being a slave of your conditioned responses. So that's why I love continual breath awareness in particular, because it makes that, um, that gap kind of a dynamic part of your life. It gives you freedom from the tyranny of your habits. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so bring more presence into your life. Um, that's what I talk about on this channel, continual breath awareness, basically keeping your awareness on those sensations of breathing throughout the day and you know, freeing yourself from those conditioned responses. So that's all I have for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you really, you know, put this into practice, write uh, your pattern interrupt in the comments below, hopefully inspire others to do it as well. And uh, yeah, change it up, do something different, get some perspective on your life, broaden your horizons, change your behavior if that's what you wanna do. Um, and that's it. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you next time. What's up guys? I wanna talk about how you can reconcile freedom from outcome with having a goal. So freedom from outcome is one of these ideas that we see recur over and over again in the ancient texts. And it's spelled out most famously in the Bhagavad Gita where Krishna tells Arjuna to be free from outcome, to not be attached to the fruit of your labor, just be attached to the labor. That's the only thing you can really control.